Hi, we're Scott and Ilya. Today we're going to work on the tango. So we're starting off with our basic movements rather quickly. Let's scoot the ladies up a little bit and then back. Then start with your feet together. Left foot slightly in front of your right. Your weight is on your right foot. And I always like to sit on my right heel when I begin. My left hand is going to be about the ladies' eye level. My right hand. Generally in tango, we're a little closer. It just depends on how well you know your partner. So we're not going to get too intense here. We're going to be a little more social. She's going to put her arm around my back like that. Paying close attention, not to tickle me. Alright. So we're going to go with three steps. Ladies start with the right foot, come to the left. Three steps forward. Guys, try to stay low during all three steps. Stay very low. So bend the knees. Two, three, side and close. I think they've got room for maybe one more if they do it small. Slow, slow, quick. Quick, slow. Right, let's grab a partner and try that basic. I think we've done this a couple blocks. Here's what it looks like. I'm going to grab my partner. We're going to do starting off with our basic. Now again, the woman doesn't know what we're about to do. So I'm about to change the timing on my partner. We're going to go slow, slow. I balance on that right leg, turn my right shoulder slightly forward. That's going to help her know to slow down, be cautious. And we're going to rock in place. As I step forward with my left foot, we're going to rock quick. Quick, slow. I bring my right foot forward, my left shoulder slightly forward. Quick, quick, slow, and then tango, close. Let's back your butt. Bring all the legs up here for I'll demonstrate it again. And we'll have the guys try it with me, and the ladies try it at the same time. We've got walk, walk, take the third step, but stop. Quick, quick, slow. Another step. Quick, quick, slow, and tango, close. Let's try this with the partner. Are we on? When we're doing our basic, normally I'm moving across the floor and keep moving and then go close. For this step, I'm going to want to slow down. So I might even be a little more conservative as I take my two walking steps. It's already making you go, uh oh, what's he doing? So I'll do that again. Notice that if I know I'm going to stop on my third step, I'm going to go ahead and start slowing it down, turn my right shoulder forward, and that's going to help her know to stop so that we'll be able to do our rocks in place and then tango close. Let's try it with our partner. Going a little bit smaller step. It was the basic, the intermediate was the tango rocks. And now we're going to do a very advanced step called shadow rocks. Shadow rocks incorporates about three or four patterns in one. So what we're going to do is we're first going to do a promenade throw out. Now, the last time I taught the promenade throw out, I didn't even talk about where you would use it. Where I would normally use it is at the end of the line of dance, I would go promenade, slow, slow, throw her out. We taught this last week. And we did a stand to finish it, and we ended diagonal center. So that's what we're going to be going with in a little bit. We do want to show you, since we're on camera, that even if you're going down the line of dance here in Tango, you can still do this pattern, leaving your promenade, but throwing her back a quarter of a turn so that we can face that outside wall when we do these. So, right now we all just dance at the end of the line of dance. We're going to turn our lady promenade. Uh, so if the guys can scoot more this way, the better. Same thing with the ladies, the more that way you go, the better. You might even double up, I don't know. My first time teaching here, I think. <laughs> Feels like. So here we go. So guys, we're going to take one step. Now on the second step, I ask my partner to come in front of me. Now I'm going to give us a tiny little push. It's more of an encouragement than it is a shove. But I'm going to move her away as I march in place. March, march, and then we both point to the middle. Just like that. Do that again. You guys, we got our partner. We turned our partner promenade. We're going to walk. One, we turn her. Two, we push her quick, quick, and point. Now all the guys left foot should be pointing towards the lady. All the ladies right foot should be pointing to the men. Now there's several white things you can do from this. You can trade sides. You can underarm turn to the right. You can underarm turn to the left. You can fan. So there's several things. So the lady's not sure which one you're doing, right? So, so I'll give you some hints. What we're doing now is called a shadow rock. We're going to go slow, slow. I push her. I back a little up, and I look at my partner. 
If I wanted to come out, I'd stay even with her and look that way and start to pull the hand forward. But I don't want to for this step. I look at my partner, I'm going to ask her to turn in by pulling this hand and turning it. So I brought it in and turned it a little to, the, to my left. As I do that, I'm going to try to catch her other hand with my left hand. So not only am I turning her up, but I'm letting go and catching the other hand. Right, I'm going to throw her back out for the moment. So we ended our from not throw out. I asked my partner to come in. I switch hands and I put my hand on her shoulder if I don't know her very well. I like the waist. The shoulder is just as effective. So let's try this much. Oh, I haven't showed the pattern yet. Ely wants me to show the pattern. Slow, slow, push. Quick, quick. Ask her to come in. The quick switch hand. Then we're going to step. Slow, no kick yet. Slow. We're going to do the shadow rock. The rock so we just did it from shadow position. Then we throw her back out. And we're going to want to end that with our open fan. Take no blow. Okay. Julia wants you to see me throw her out. <laughs> so she asked for so her. So, stepping one on the second step, I bring her in front of me. Now I'm going to march in place as I push her away, march, march, point. Now I ask her to come in as I stand in place, quick, quick, slow. So I didn't really move. I asked the lady to come in. Now we're going to do our stage rocks that the man just did. It's just that we're in our shadow position instead of our closed position. That's slow. Slow, we rock, quick, quick, slow, we rock, quick, quick, slow. Now I'm going to throw her out as I march, march, point again. March, march, point. Now we're going to pick her up with the open fan that we all learned last week in about three minutes. Slow, point, slow, bring her through, and then tango, close. Let's get started to work on this one. Yes. Yeah. Slow, slow, push her door, march, march. Now ask her to come in by pulling her hand. And switching hands as you stay here. Now we do our tango rocks. It's slow, slow, rock, quick, quick, slow, rock, quick, quick, slow. Throw her out as we march, march, point. This time I face the wall. We step towards the wall. We fan as we point. Pick her up, pull her through, and then tango close. We got slow, slow, push her, march, march, slow. I show my hand here, ask her to come in. Quick, quick. Slow. Everybody's left foot is free. Everybody's left hand has a, has a, another left hand. Ready? And slow, slow, rock, quick, quick, slow, rock, quick, quick, slow, toss her out. We pick her up in the open fan and slow, bring her through, slow, and take a look. Slow, slow, and tango, close. I have 